Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 8. Inside this video session guys, we will understand that is how can we add JavaScript file to our custom theme. Now if I back to editor, in the last video, we had seen all about to attach any of the CSS file as well as the default style.css file. Also, we understood about the importance of WP head function. Now, inside this video, we are going to attach a JavaScript file. So, let's say that inside this assets folder, we have another folder with the name of JS to contain or to store all the JavaScript files. Inside this, I am to create one more file. So, go inside this, create a new file with the name of, let's say, script.js inside this what I will do we will write some piece of code so let's say that this is js code of our custom theme so if we save this change so how can we attach this script.js file to this functions.php so to attach javascript files we have a wordpress function this is the wordpress function what we have used to attach any of the css file for the javascript if we go to google and search for wp in qs script wp then click on this first link that is developer.wordpress.org now inside this we can find all about the parameters as well as the function details so inside this function, the first parameter as the file name, like file ID, what we have discussed inside WP in QS style. So if I copy this function name back to editor, now let's say that we are going to attach script.js file. So using this function, inside this we need to pass our handle. So let's say that script only script js. Now inside next parameter, we need to pass our src. This is all about source file path. So we are going to use let's say git template directory URI. By the help of this function, we are going to take the path up to this simple basic theme directory. Inside this, next we need to go inside this assets, inside this JS folder and then we will have script.js file. After this source file path, next we have the parameter called our dependency. This is all about that if suppose our JavaScript files is dependent on any of the inbuilt or existing JavaScript files then we need to pass here. If suppose let's say that our JavaScript file is dependent on a jQuery file. So how can we pass that? So by default WordPress supports lots of functionality of jQuery. If we go to folder structure, here inside this WP includes, we have a JS directory. Inside this, as we can see that we have several JavaScript files like backbone, color picker, color picker.mean.js, admin bar, and so on. Now inside this jQuery folder, we have a file called jQuery.js. Let's say that our file is somewhere dependent on this file. So to use existing or any default JavaScript files, we don't actually need to load that. Instead, how can we use simply make an array? Inside this, as we know that our JavaScript file is dependent on that file, simply we need to pass the file name. It is WordPress by default auto automatic going to take this value and search inside directory and attach that. So this is the use of our dependency files. Now next we have called the version. So let's say that I am to use the version as let's say 1.0. Next parameter we will have called footer. It means that if suppose we will pass here the true value then it is going to attach that JavaScript file in footer. Otherwise, by default, it is going to attach that JavaScript file what we are attaching at header. So if we save these changes without passing 
true value here it means it is going to attach itself at header so wp head is responsible for that so if we save these changes back here reload this page and if i press ctrl u and search here for the file of script.js and as we can see that it is coming from themes simple basic theme assets js and this is the file name so if we click on this file and this is our code but let's say that we are not interested to attach our javascript files inside at header how can we send this file to this footer so let's say that only we to pass true value here now if we save this change reload this page and if i search for our script.js there is no name or there is no file with this name why because we sent this file to our footer and at footer there is no function to load all the contents so if suppose we want to load any content at footer so we have another function to load all the footer contents and that is go to footer.php and we need to use called wp underscore footer save this change go here reload the sort code and as we can see that bulk of things the wordpress default pasted inside this source code now if we search about let's say script.js and here is the file this is the file we can find that it is now in footer position click on this link and here is the file so simply guys by the help of this video we understood that how can we attach our javascript files inside a theme so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day